today's lesson, I will show you two ways to perform metric to American conversions. If the conversions are fairly simple, you can use ratio and proportion. If the conversions involve several steps or get more complicated, I recommend that you use unit analysis. You already know both methods. You know how to do unit analysis. You know how to do ratio and proportion. So it's simply using some knowledge that you already have to perform new operations. One should know at least three conversion facts relating metric and American measures. You should know one for length, one for mass or weight, and one for capacity. The three that I suggest you know, so length one inch is approximately 2.54 centimeters. Now later on in the unit, I will probably start using equals, but you need to keep in mind that when we're going from a metric to American measures, there are no exact conversions, only approximate conversions. And it depends on how accurate you want your answer to be as to how accurate your approximations would be. You can't get it exact. But one inch is approximately 2.54 centimeters. So by knowing this bridge, one can convert from any American length to any metric length. So what you do, you do the unit analysis on the American side to get the inches, you use the bridge to get to the, to the uh, metric side, and then you can go to wherever you need on the metric side. So one inch is approximately 2.54 centimeters. You need to know that and retain it. For capacity, the one I suggest is that one liter is approximately one and six hundredths quarts. So a liter is just a little more than a quart. And for weight or mass, one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds. Now let me talk about weight and mass just a minute. They're not the same thing. Weight is a force. So if you weigh 150 pounds, that means there's a force of 150 pounds holding you to earth. That's a force. Weight involves gravity. In fact, weight is mass times gravity. Your mass is independent of gravity. If you were to go to the moon, you would have the same mass as you do on earth. However, you would not weigh the same because the gravity on the moon is not nearly as great as it is on the earth. We do weight to mass conversions because on the surface of the earth, gravity is constant, so we can get by with that constant of g. We do them for convenience. But you really need to keep in mind that there are conversions of convenience rather than being scientifically accurate. But now, that said, we will proceed to do them. And we use what kilogram is 2.2 pounds. One should be able to use these three plus any other given conversion facts to perform metric to American conversions. If the problem gives you a conversion fact, use that one. If the problem doesn't give you a conversion fact, you have to come up and use the appropriate one from this list.
two methods for performing conversions, unit analysis and ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion works well for single step problems. However, it is awkward for multiple step problems. Unit analysis always works and is normally the best choice. Use ratio and proportion to convert 52 kilograms to pounds. Well, to use ratio and proportion, you start by writing down your conversion fact. Write down what's given. We're given that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. That's the relationship between kilograms and pounds. And that would equal to, so we've established now in the given part, remember in the ratio, you write the ratio of the given to the ratio of the question. So in my ratio of the given, I've established that kilograms goes on top, pounds goes on the bottom. Kilograms on top, pounds on the bottom. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds, so 56.2 kilograms is how many pounds? And notice with ratio and proportion it is equals. Your given ratio, that's when you've memorized, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. The question ratio, 56.2 kilograms is how many pounds? Now the way you solve a proportion is to multiply the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Set the product of the extremes equal to the product of the means. The extremes would be the 1 and the x. So that would be 1 times x, the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. 2.2 times 56.2. Now doing the multiplication 1 times x is, of course, x. Then I can use calculator and multiply 2.2 times 56.2 to get 123.64. And my answer is going to be pounds because x is beside pounds. So 56.2 kilograms is approximately 123.64 pounds. Now you might round this off with the conversion only has two significant numbers. So I might write the answer as x is approximately 120 pounds. Because this, and this answer has two significant numbers, the 1 and the 2, as does the 2.2. But for the time being, you will probably give me this answer. If you are taking a class in which you've already discussed significant digits, then you'd probably use 120. Depends on exactly how much math you've had.